Hi, this is Gary Goodwin, founder of The Armchair Dreamer, and welcome. So typically, our thoughts are focused outward on analysis, planning, and getting ready for the next thing, or we're still thinking about what happened to us earlier in the day or last week, last month. When we're going fast, we don't think much with images. We still use images, but we've developed an inner shorthand that something new that we had to learn, we visualized early on, but now it's been sped up and we know what the meaning is behind something. So we don't slow down in the same way that we'll be doing with visualization to see something, but we just sort of speed along. Images do feel slow, but we do need to slow down to have images. To visualize, we need to be more here now. The methods. Using the body is a great way to slow down because it is powerful. It grabs our attention, it grabs our heads and hearts, it makes us pay attention, and it can really move us, and it can move us fast. All we need to do is to pay attention to our body in, in two basic ways. Method number one. Here I ask people, and this is why it has this name, to pay attention to the solid feeling that they have when they pay attention to their bodies and realize their bodies and remember their bodies are solid objects. And when we hang on to something that's solid and become aware of that, our thoughts and feelings naturally slow down. So let me take you through that process. And we're going to gently scan down the body, down to the feet, a section at a time. And you're not looking for anything special. You're not looking for aches, pains, sensations. I'm just doing this, helping you do this, to become aware of the solidity that you do take up space. And the best way to do that is just keep a simple scanning. So starting at the top of the head and gently scanning down feeling from the inside to the outside as you go down, down to the nose area, down to the chin area. And the best way to do this is to feel um, as best as you can what you consider the inside of your head. And the same thing is feeling from the inside of your throat downward from your chin area, down to the tops of your shoulders. And then from the tops of your shoulders, you expand your awareness out so it fills uh, your chest area down to the mid-abdominal area, down to where you sit. And then you can just scan generally, bringing your awareness as you understand it, what the inside of your legs would feel like. And just scanning down to the knees, from the knees down to the feet. Let's start at the top again, top of your head, and just scanning down across your head, down to your chin, down your throat, from your shoulders down to your chest and mid and mid abdominal area, down to your stomach area, down to the area where you sit, from the top of your legs down to your knees and from your knees down to your feet. On your own, go ahead and repeat that process again. And just finish up by seeing if if you feel more solid if you're more aware of where you're at in the room, where you are, and see if you're a little bit more present oriented, more in the here and now than when you started this exercise. Low breathing turns to the body again. It brings us to an awareness of our breathing, but it also slows down breathing. And when we slow down breathing, by definition, it's gonna slow down our body, And a slower body communicates to the mind, to the brain, that things are okay and that we can slow down our thoughts and slow down our feelings. To do low breathing, what we're doing is breathing normally, 
We're not doing any heroic breathing. We're not over expanding our lungs. We're not holding our breath. All we're doing instead of just keeping our breathing shallow and near the top of our lungs, we're deliberately bringing the breath down to our abdominal area, to our stomach area. And to make this work, we have to be comfortable with expanding that portion of our stomach outward as we breathe in. So just for the moment, brings a little extra air down to your stomach area and let your lungs expand there. And as the lungs expand, your stomach area will protrude out. Do you feel how that stretches and expands out? Now let's go back and bring air in to a count of five. So it's not a super fast count, it's not a super slow count, it's a general count of counting to yourself. One, two, three, four, five. As you breathe in and you're bringing you're breathing in and bringing down that air down to the, your stomach, which will expand outward as you breathe in. Hold it there for whatever is comfortable, one or two seconds, and then exhale. And just repeat the process again. Breathing in to a count of five, bringing the air down to your expanding stomach area. Not holding it too long, just holding it maybe one or two seconds and exhaling. Not super fast, not super slow. Go ahead and repeat that for a few more cycles. Okay, how do you feel? This doesn't take long, it takes a minute or two. Sometimes it can feel quite profound that we're having rushing thoughts, thoughts that are really too fast to do good visualization or good imagination, zipping around. But when we do these two simple processes, or if you prefer, just do one or the other, develop a favorite, do one or the other, we find that things are slower, easier, and it's much easier to go within to do either visualization or imagination or both. These are the two s simple body methods that I know for quickly changing and going within. You'll need to practice them to make them your own, but this is what you need to be able to go on to the next step of Visualize 101. Work the series and you'll learn how to master, how to visualize and how to imagine and how to do dream work. And of course, you can learn more not only here, but at my blog, armchairdreamer.com. I'll see you there.